Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make shape tweens behave. Now this is a fun thing to look at actually. Some of you may have noticed in your homework that at a couple of places where you were doing the shape tween in your textbook that the videos that the um that the final product started looking a little goofy when it went from one object to the other. So we're going to take a look at um, a way to fix that by examining first an easy shape tween and then second a, a very tricky shape tween. So here's the first one. It's really really simple. I have a pentagon that simply morphs into a circle. You know everything looks great there. There's no jerkiness in the animation. Well, life is good. That's what you want to see for your shape tweens. Now, let's take a look at what you don't want to see for your shape tweens. I have a semicircle here with an open center, and this is going to morph <laughs> into a bird. That's a pretty complicated shape tween. So let's take a look at a few things that are going wrong with this particular thing. Okay, I'm going to scrub back and forth, and I want you to watch right here. So as I scrub to the left, notice that right here we've got a point that is bending inward. It's being goofy. I've got some separation of my, my fills and that kind of thing. So let's see what that becomes. Okay, now watch this right here. That is going to become the seam in the bird's beak. This is what's actually happening. I'm going to grab my sub-selection tool. Excuse me, I'm going to zoom in first on that bird's beak. I'm going to grab my sub-selection tool and I'm going to look right here. I have got a whole nest of points that have been created when I use my pen tool. I'm going to go in even further. Let's see if we can see this a little bit better. Okay, maybe that's as far as I can go. So grabbing my pen, my subselection tool, yeah, look at that, I go one, two, three, four, five. This is one of the reasons I'm having such a hard time with getting a very smooth shape for my shape tween. The way you would fix this would be to grab the subtract or delete anchor tool. It's underneath the regular pen tool. So I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna go in here and start, get, whoop, after, <laughs> after, excuse me, after I click on the correct layer, I'm going to start getting rid of some of these little points in here. Whoops, I lost my bird's jaw, and that happens. You just simply go back and try it one more time. I'm going, now I've gotten rid of two of those extra points. I have some other things down here. I, I'm pretty sure that if I delete this one, the seam for the beak is going to go away, so I can't delete any more of those. I'm going to grab my sub-selection tool and I'm going to attempt to drag them so that they lock together. Let's try this this way. Okay, I think I'm getting closer. It's not perfect. Now, I'm going to work on this for a bit and through the magic of film editing, I'll be back with you in just a few short seconds. <laughs> 